Hi, this is Ted Pattison with another video in the Fast Break with Power BI Desktop video series. In this exciting video title, we'll look at querying data from unstructured text files. So we have a text file, wingtipexpenses.txt. Let's go ahead and open that up and just take a look at the data inside. It's a couple lines at the top. This is just spit out by a mainframe given to me, hoping that I could pull the data out of it somehow. So we'll notice that there's individual rows of data and each one of those contains four fixed width columns. Now, one of the things that we're gonna to have to do is basically count the spaces in each column. The first one basically has 12 spaces inside there. We'll go to the second one, which also, as I count up, has exactly 12 spaces. Now, the third column, when we look at that, one, two, three, four, five, it has 24 columns inside there. Now, when we have four columns, we only have to figure out the width of the first three. Okay, so, but now that we've done that, we can basically move to the query mechanism. Note that there's also other lines down there. Every month has a header row that we're gonna have to somehow strip out. So back in Power BI Desktop, I'm gonna choose Get Data More. We're gonna go to All, and we're gonna pick Text as our option. Now, when I do that, it's gonna bring up a dialog that allows me, first of all, to pick the text file. Uh, once I have selected the text file, now I look at the choice of delimiter. Now, common delimiter is not what we want. We want fixed width. So we pick fixed width, and now we have to put in the starting and ending positions of the first three columns. So the first one starts at zero, goes to 12. The second one goes to 24. And the third one is gonna go to 24 plus 24, 48. Now that we have that, I click OK, and now I can start seeing that it's able to take the rows that have the four columns and parse them out. Now we'll worry about the other lines uh, a little bit later in the query, but let's go ahead and click edit. And now we're into the query editor inside here. Now, a report might have a couple lines at the top. So one thing that I'm able to do is to use the remove rows, and I can say remove the first three rows inside there. Next, we're gonna go and look at the actual rows that have data. And let's start with the date column. So what we're gonna to try to do is take this column and I'll rename it to date, but now we're gonna to try to do a transform and we're gonna do a trim and we're gonna do a clean. And the idea is trim removes all the white space and clean removes the non-printable characters. Now, once I've done that, my next thing that we're gonna to try to do is do an actual conversion over to date. And the idea is that columns or the rows that we care about the conversion will happen successfully, and those that don't, we have errors. And what's really nice is those rows that create errors, I can just skim them out and remove those. Also, I wanna go ahead and get rid of the null values as well on that column. And so now that I remove the errors and the nulls, now I basically reduced it down to only the rows that have data. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna perform quickly a trim and a clean on each row of data inside there just to make sure that the data from the mainframe is exactly you know what we want. For the amount, we'll also change the name of the column and switch that to fixed decimal point as we would for currency values. For the category column, we'll give it a better column name. And once again, we'll perform the trim and we will perform the clean operations on them. Finally, we'll get to the last column. We'll call this the description for the expense and we'll go ahead and we'll do the trim and we will do the clean operation. And so now that we have done that and we'll just check our column types to make sure that they all look good, great. We'll choose close and apply, which will run our query and basically run the logic to query and clean up the data from that particular text file. Now let's go ahead and just kind of change a value. I'll change it from 823 to 923 and hit save. And then we'll go back to Power BI Desktop and we're gonna click on the refresh button just to basically run the query again. And you're gonna see that it runs the exact same transform over that text file inside there. Okay, so now we're in the home stretch. So now that we have pulled our data out, let's go ahead and let's create a new bar chart and we'll go ahead and we'll add some columns inside there. We'll go ahead and add legend uh, as category. We'll have the amount be our value. We'll add in date. Notice that when you add in a date, Power BI Desktop is prone to giving you that hierarchy, so we'll remove everything other than month, and now we have a pretty little chart inside there from the data in our unstructured text file. Once again, this is Ted Pattison. I'd like to thank you for watching and leave you with a call to action. 
If you want to join a great, passionate group of smart people, come join us at pbiug.com, the Power BI user group. If you're looking for hands-on training, come visit us at criticalpathtraining.com, home of Power BI Bootcamp and Power BI Developer Bootcamp.